The Hudson is an incredible resource for the region. It's been used for 12,000 years for transportation, commerce, recreation. The whole purpose behind the water taxi is to reconnect New Yorkers with the river again and to educate them about not only its past, but their potential in shaping its future. For the last 40 years, we have worked to clean up the river, but there's a lot more work to be done. If you can get people out on the water, then they'll be better stewards of the river in the future. The river is, it's an assembled right of way. It's sitting there empty. It's like there's a major highway going through the city that nobody's bothered to get on. You see commuters going home from work, relaxing on the upper deck. There's never a traffic jam. There are no potholes. There are no traffic lights to slow you down. There are no construction projects delaying traffic. It's a lot different than being jammed in the subway. It's not about just bringing the slaves back and forth to the salt mine. The unique thing about New York Water Taxi is we are more education, recreation, and entertainment than we are transportation. I want people to understand this river. I want people to share the love for it that I have. And they'll only do that if they get out on it and they see it as a place to play. I firmly believe that the city has a tremendous future on the waterfront. It's back to the days when the Hudson River was cheek to jowl with boats. I think that that day will come again, and I think there'll be high-speed, long-haul ferries going down the river. There'll be dayliners again doing overnight cruises. There'll be smaller boats connecting local locations. The river is just beginning to be explored kind of like Hudson did 400 years ago. <laughs>